right, so I'll be explaining it to Brody in this video, and this is from number nine from the homework. So these are, we're given this as our components. This one is only a Y component. We're trying to find this magnitude, and I guess he gives it to us in this one. This is 70, and we have the angle. Mm -hmm. So then we're only missing one component, right? So it's different than some of the other problems where we had all of our components when we were trying to find the magnitude. Now we have all but one component and we have the magnitude, right? Mm -hmm. So if our, or not our magnitude, our resultant. Mm -hmm. So if our resultant is like, in this case it's 70 at a 45 degree angle, then what I thought made most sense was to try and find what our x and y component of that was. Mm -hmm. So I took 70 cosine of 45. It's going to be the same thing, but 70 sine of 45. Mm -hmm. Now both of those are 49. So you have a 49 point and a 49.497. Notice that this one's negative because it's going down, right? Mm -hmm. So that's your x and your y component of your resultant. Okay. Then I wrote an equation as if I was trying to find that, including the unknowns up here. So you'll see. That's what I did, but I th I'm going to explain. Do you remember how we get the triangle components from the triangle, right? Mm -hmm. So I have 90 here. 3, 4, 5, and I can say that 5 is to 90 as 3 is to my x, and that'd be my x component, so 3 times 90 divided by 5 is 54. That's my x component of this one, mm -hmm. and then my y component would be 5 is to 90 as 4 is to y. in this case yeah so we have x and y component of this we don't know the x y component of this mm -hmm. we know the x y component of this and we know the x y component of this so then I made an equation for j hat and for i hat so I said that i hat we found has to be 49.497 from our resultant. Mm -hmm. We knew that J hat had to be negative 49.497 mm -hmm. from our resultant as well. And then I took the sum of all my X components and the sum of all my Y components. Mm -hmm. So we said that our X component of this one was mm -hmm. negative 54. Our X component of this one was only a positive 50. Mm -hmm. And then plus our x of this one that we don't know, right? Mm -hmm. Then our y component has to be equal to this. We had our 4, so we had 72 mm -hmm. plus our, this one is 0, right? Yep. Plus our other y component here mm -hmm. has to be equal to this. So then we solve both of those. I think that gave us so negative 49.497 and would I be subtracting 72? Does that seem right? I think I need to be negative. No, that should be negative 72 as well. Right? That should be negative mm -hmm. and negative, so this should be negative yes. here. Backtrack that step. So this plus 72 would give me that my y component has to be 22.503, mm -hmm. and that my x component has to be, this would be a negative 4, so 49.497 plus 4, right? That would be a plus 4? Mm. Yeah, it's 53.497. So do you get that, this step? 
it's just my components mm -hmm. and my results in it. That was like the hard part of this. Because mm -hmm. then once you get your X and Y, you see that Y is 22.503, your X is 53.497, then all the problems actually asking you for is your, um, mm -hmm. that, and then your angle mm -hmm. again. So then that one's just your square root. This vertical is the squared, yep. is that. So 53.497 squared plus 22.507 squared equals 58.038. So hoping that is right. 58. Correct. Okay. 58, not 53. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you said. I looked at this number and said mm -hmm. <laughs> 3.0. There you go. Perfect. And then this is the same one. Then you have your sine theta is equal to 22.507 divided by 58.038. Mm -hmm. Sine inverse of those. Is sense I just didn't I had to I guess figure out that the I hat J hat make a lot of sense to solve it because that's all of your you find your individual components and you add them all together yeah. to solve for your last one that makes sense because it indirectly gives you your components of yep. this your components of that and your components of that and then you can it's just yeah. it's just weird because it's you have to recognize that the triangle really gives you components mm -hmm. that it's only 50 this way but it has its own components mm -hmm. just why isn't there and then you also have to be recognized that angle and that magnitude is also giving you mm -hmm. x and y yeah that makes so. sense